Okay, so we're gonna do a little experiment. This is something that we're intrigued about. George and I have talked about this in the past. How much horsepower does it take to drive the supercharger? So you see a supercharged S2000, let's say it makes 420 horsepower. Well, there is a drivetrain loss from the wheels to the engine. There is also the fact that the engine is turning the supercharger to make the power. So let's say it makes 420 at the wheels and there is a 18% drivetrain loss. How much is the supercharger taken to make that power? So behind me we have an AP1 S2000. This is a 2003 completely stock S2000. We know what it makes to the wheels. So right now there is a Kraftwerk supercharger installed which uses a Rotrex head unit. The engine is going to drive the supercharger and obviously create pressure. Of course this isn't a scientific test. Everyone is going to tell us where you should do this and you should do that. You can do that but for right now we're going to do this. Let me show you what we got. Okay so at first looks this looks a little bit complicated and after a few minutes it starts to look goofy. I understand that. So let me explain what's going on. This is intake to the engine. The engine essentially doesn't know it has a supercharger on. It thinks it's going up an extremely long, tall hill because the engine is turning this guy. This is the intake to the supercharge, which would usually be there. This hose off here goes around through the air-to-air -air intercooler and back up to this tube. This tube would usually be connected to here, so it creates boost on the engine. This is just so the supercharger is happy. It's not going to overboost or overspool like a turbo because it's directly linked to the engine. This is going to be pressurized air. So we have this pointing away from the engine bay because it is going to be blowing air out of there in a hurry. So this should, in theory, give us an idea how much this supercharger takes to run. Here, that is going to have a whole bunch of air coming out. And this is one of the most scientific ways to measure airflow is a towel, right? Okay, so this is our results. Uh, 184.8 and 142 foot-pounds and again that's with that little shorty intake which yeah it ain't gonna change that much but used cars usually do 185 to 190 bone stock so the supercharger looking at that is taking roughly 50 horsepower and about 30 foot-pounds of torque there is our runs right there the blue is with the supercharger dragon the red is stock as you see, it takes power light right from the get-go. Again, we're hitting it in the same spot. So you can see how much the supercharger is dragging on the engine. That's actually pretty impressive. All right, camera is gonna face right over here. So you should feel some airflow here. You ready? I was watching, I thought it was gonna, I was getting ready, I thought it was gonna blow the camera over. The camera started kind of leaning back, it was blowing. Yeah, I wouldn't want to stand in front of that, it moves a ton of air. Yeah. All right, seriously, let's stop messing around. George, stop messing around. All right. Let's get back to work. Psh, tell you. Okay, so again, it's just an experiment. It's more curious. We were interested actually how much power that supercharger takes. Well, to do an actual scientific test, Maybe this tube has to be connected to something that causes restriction. Obviously the engine is pushing air in more than the engine can ingest, hence boost. How much extra power that takes, I don't know. But it's pretty interesting. This supercharger is the C3892, which is the bigger unit. That might take a little bit more power to turn than the 81 blower. Who knows? Again, hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, a little bit of scientific, a little bit of playing around, a little bit of curiosity.
mess around with the tubes on the car. Now I think if we connect that to that, now the car should really make some power. Yeah. All right, let's stop messing around. Let's make some power. <laughs> C35, no it's not, this is the C80, what the hell is this supercharger? 3892. This supercharger is the C3892, which is the bigger unit. Esther, you gotta come and check out my biggest fan. Your biggest fan yeah. is here? Yeah, you no gotta way. see. you gotta see him, he's awesome. <laughs> I, right. I think you'll like him too, you gotta come see him. All right, well, you ready? I'm coming. Nice, isn't it? Is it good? You could dry, you could dry clothes over here. <laughs> it's not as noisy as I thought it would be. No, it's not that noisy at all. No. I mean, we can have a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Just shut up. In fact, that is our biggest fan. Literally. We're trying to get more airflow through the shop whenever we have cars run anything like that. So we're trying to make it safer and cleaner. You saw George reviewed one of the other fans. This one is massive. It's supposed to be 20,000 CFM. Then the downside to it, where do you plug it in? You manufacture this fan that you figured it out. You know someone's going to want to put power to it. Why wouldn't you include a power cord? So I got to take a run to Home Depot, get a heavy duty power cord. It has a plate on there, right? Yeah, I put it in the bag with the instructions. Okay, so I want to go get a power cord, maybe do like a 15 or a 20 foot lens that way whenever we move it around. But what's cool about this, it's only 18 inches thick so that when you're done with it, you can put it up against the wall and it's out of the way. But you can see how big it is by George standing in front of it. It didn't really take anything because I'm really small. George is six foot five, so judging by this, this fan is five foot eight. Which means you're like eight foot three. Well, I am, I've seen myself on the internet. I get bigger all the time. So let's get a power cord, plug this sucker in. We're gonna do the ultimate test. Yeah. 25 feet. 25 feet. A 14 gauge fury. That is. You don't have to use them all. All right, you ready? Yeah. So we're not electricians by any means. Whoa. It almost went over. Yeah. Oh no! It just—it's got like a. Yikes. Yeah. I'm gonna hold it. Just make sure. This is. It's gonna rattle. Oh, there it goes. It's a wall of air. Yeah. Scientific test. Yeah, a little bit of trash under there, you rub it on the fender, you know. I gotta write a name on it over here. I don't know if we can hear it when we're talking. That's it, I wasn't lying. There it is, 20,000 CFM. So, talking of 20,000 CFM and a big fan, Look how clean the inside is. I gave it a detail the other day. Actually, George and I detailed it, sorry. I'm talking of details. So now we have the new biggest fan. We're gonna retire this fan. So here's our shameless plug. I bought this from Industrial Fans Direct, which is where I buy all my fans. This isn't one of those $200 uh, Home Depot fans. This is a strong fan. Well, the new one is bigger, it's more powerful. This one is for sale, it cost me 749 bucks. It's a year old, if you're interested. It's a strong fan. I'll put the link. Is the information right here. I wanna sell this fan. If you wanna buy this fan, let me know. Again, it's my shameless plug. I gotta try and sell stuff to help pay for the new stuff. And again, why I buy the new stuff is to try and make 
our environment a little bit cleaner, safer, and a little bit more comfortable. You know, we want to invest money back into where we spend most of our time. So, what does the big fan and the green insight and the medium fan have in common? I don't know. So let me tell you what we did to modify this fan. To put a handle here, right? It's right over the wheels. There's the wheels. There is a handle. What good is this handle? Unless you pull it towards yourself like this, which it's a big pain in the butt to do. So what did we do? We built a handle on this side. It's just bolted on there, but it allows you to pick this up. So look how more convenient that is. Now you can roll it around one hand. LHT modification. That comes with no charge. That's included. This has been previewed on the channel in the past. This Integra GSR. Keep an eye out for this. Stay tuned. Something exciting is going to happen with this car.